This is a whitewashing of white supremacy. H how much harder does it make it to find com for an understanding of our nation and actually build support to address systemic racism that we see presently in today's world if people don't know our history as a nation? Well, that's all intentional, and yep. I think that we're at a very we're we're at a very dangerous moment in our history of this country. Not only you know is our democracy um, in peril, as the president has said, but the safety and security and the and and the rights and privileges and opportunities for people of color are all um, significantly challenged. Everything that's other than white. Male predominantly is the other and, and is represented in such a way that white male dominance is supposed to have control over every aspect of the rest of us, whether it's our access to jobs, as women, our access to decisions regarding our body, whether or not we're going to be able to access the voting booths, whether or not we're going to get a globally competitive education irrespective of where we live, and whether or not we're going to be taught the truth in history. And this has been a, been a very revealing period. I mean, there's uh, a tension on Tulsa, Oklahoma. There's um, mm -hmm. tension on Rosewood. There's um, a tension on all of the uh, uh, law enforcement abuses that are resulting in the deaths of unarmed black men in particular, but in black women as well. We need a serious course correction. We need to recognize that this danger is it may be perpetrated upon blacks mostly and maybe browns, but there's danger in all of this for even white America. If you're not rich and you're not white, they don't care about you. And that's something that is hard for everyday working people to understand, that while they're trying to kick the butt of black and brown and gay and transgender and, and other, they don't care about you either. You're just a tool as well. 